Hi everybody, this is a follow-up video from last week's Improvers lesson about play techniques uh, and I basically wanted to create this because a number of people had issues getting into the meeting last week um, and so this is a way for them to still somewhat experience the lesson obviously without the interaction between the participants but at least it'll give you an idea of what we covered last week given that that material is heavily drawn on for the next two weeks. So, um, yeah, we will, we have figured out a few things about the issues that people were experiencing last week. So when the, the email goes out with the link to this week's lesson, we will make sure to put in a few instructions on how to get into the meeting if you're having issues. So without further ado, we will get on with this lesson about play techniques. So, here's my contact details. If you have any questions about anything that we cover in this lesson, please feel free to get in touch. Um, I'll put those contact details back on the final slide as well. Right, so Basically, this lesson covers some play techniques which you will put into practice both when you're playing no trump and suit contracts as declarer. So this has nothing to do with defensive play. This is all around declarer play. And there's basically four techniques which are going to help you win more tricks. Uh, and then the two lessons following this will teach you how to analyze and plan your declarer play once dummy goes down to figure out how you can make your contract using the tools that are covered in this lesson on play techniques. So the first of the four techniques is about promoting honors. So often when you're looking at a suit, you might be missing some honors. The obvious case is you're missing the ace of a suit, but you've got the king queen jack. So the obvious thing you need to do is to force that ace out so you can make at least two of your king queen jack on as good maybe maybe three if you're lucky if the the defenders are um helpful so in, in this example here uh, north holds the king queen jack south holds nine six so we can force the ace out and guarantee that we make two of these honors over here we can, obviously we can't make all three we don't have a fourth card in the suit. So one of these honors is going to be squashed by the ace, but we can guarantee us two, two tricks in this suit by forcing out the ace. Lose to the ace, establish two tricks. Here, the suit doesn't look that great at first glance. We're missing the ace and the king. But below that, we have queen, jack, 10, 9, 8, 7. So once we've forced out the ace and the king, again, we're guaranteed two tricks in, in the suit. Lose to the ace king established two tricks. So we've promoted two more tricks by losing to the ace and the king. Lovely long suit, six card suit south. And we have king, queen, jack, ten. So once we force out the ace, we, are, we can very likely make five tricks in this suit. Uh, the opposition hold five cards in the suit. So as long as they don't split 5-0, we will make five tricks once we force out the ace. Lose to the ace, establish five tricks. You must play the honor from the short suit first. So the short suit obviously is this the queen five there's only two cards so that's the short suit in north's hand so you must play the queen out of north's hand first to unblock the suit if you play the king first if that loses to the ace now when you cross to the queen you're going to be stuck over here uh, if you don't have an entry in a, another suit back into this into south's hand so you always Play the honours out of your short suit first to avoid blocking yourself. 
Technique two is leading towards our honours. So you you lead towards an honour hoping that the second player, the person that is going to play the second trick, this, the second card in the trick, holds the honour that you're missing. So we've got, we'll have some examples to demonstrate this. So here, rather than just getting into north hand and playing the king, which is guaranteed to lose to the ace, and then they're going to take a whole bunch of extra tricks in this suit, um, we can lead from this hand, get into south's hand, and lead towards the king, and we're hoping that west has the ace. So we're hoping that the ace is over here with west, and by leading through the ace, they're either going to have to put the ace up straight away, which will promote our king, or if they don't put the ace up, we will play our king and it will become good. If east holds the ace, it doesn't matter what we do. We're, we're never going to get very far in this suit. We will not be able to make the one trick that we want in this suit. So lead a small card toward the king, and we're hoping that the second player, west in this case, has the ace. Right, same thing, but this time we're trying to make two tricks in the suit. So, if West holds the ace, and we can lead towards our honours twice, we can make both the king and the queen. So we get into South's hand, we lead once towards the king-queen. If the ace comes up straight away, these the king-queen are good now. They're, they're immediately being promoted. If the ace doesn't come up, we play the king. If it works then we need to get back into this hand to lead towards them again, because West most likely has the ace. So, lead a small card towards the king-queen, hoping that West, the second player, has the ace. If so, we can make two tricks if we repeat that exercise. If the ace is not played, return to the hand with no honour and lead once more towards the honours. Okay, so we lead the three towards the king. If that works, we've got to get back into this hand so we can do it again. All right, this time we need one trick in this suit. We're missing the ace and the king of the suit. But we can lead towards our queen jack. And we hope that west has at least one of the honours. If East holds both the Ace and the King, we're not going to get very far here. But if West holds at least one of the missing honours, then we should be able to make one trick in this suit. Again, we're going to have to repeat the process, so we need to make sure we have an entry back to this hand so we can do it a couple of times. Lead a small card towards the Queen Jack. We hope that each opposition play, player has an honour, or that West has both the honours. What we don't want is for East to have both the honours. So it's more likely to, than not to succeed. If the Jack loses to the Ace or King, later in the play we we do the same thing. We lead back towards our honours again. Okay, so that's two of our techniques. Now we'll take a look at a couple of examples. Full screen, a little bit more space. Okay, so I am going to control all four hands for the bidding, and then when it comes to the play of the hand, I will put robots in as the defenders, um, so that we we can't see the defenses' hands when we're trying to do the play properly. So six, seven, nine, a flat nine points for north so they're passing east has got only seven points also flat passing south has got nine points also a balanced hand so they are passing everyone's very balanced west has got four seven ten fourteen fifteen points and they are not a balanced hand because they have a five card major so they're going to open their long suit one spade 
North still has nothing to say. There's no five card suit. They're not strong enough for a takeout double. Pass. East, in response to their partner, they have a spade fit. So that's all good. They've only got seven points and not much in the way of shape. So just a minimum raise from them, two spades. Uh, nothing to say for South. Not strong enough to be overcalling their diamonds at the three level. Now West can reevaluate their hand. Their partner's showing them six to nine points. They have got fifteen, so at most that is twenty-four. Um, so there's no indication that game might be on here. So we'll quite happily just play in two spades. Pass, pass, pass. Okay, a good opening lead from north is top of our sequence here. Queen of Clubs. And let's put some robots in. Sorry, this is a, a little bit time consuming. There's no fast or easy way provided by BBO to do this. And There we go. Now we can no longer see our defender's hands and we can look, start to look and see can we make our contract here. So in terms of the spade suit, we'll, we'll just draw the trumps, hope that they fall 2-2, two, two, which they are not likely to do. They are more likely to fall 3-1, but that's fine. It is what it is. Um, Take the ace king of clubs and then we're probably going to lose the third club. It looks like we've got a we're gonna lose the second diamond as well. Win the ace, we'll lose the second diamond. So the heart suit we can look at leading towards our honours. We've got the Queen Jack over there. We can lead towards the Queen Jack a couple of times and hopefully find maybe we find north with both the honours or maybe we find north with one, south with one. Um, we should be able to pick up some tricks in the heart suit. So in terms of entries, I want to be able to get back to my hand to do that heart play a couple of times. So I'm gonna leave the king of clubs down there and win this trick with the ace. No reason not to draw trump, so we'll do that. We're missing four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so the trump split nicely. It was good, and now we can start on our heart play. There's no point in taking our other our other winners, king of clubs and the ace of diamonds. We might need those as entries back to our hand. Play in honour. Okay, we lose to the ace. Now we can repeat the process. And that's what we were hoping is that North would have at least one of the heart honours. So we've now set up our jack of hearts. Um, they could have taken a diamond trick there, but they've missed that opportunity. And now if the heart split 3-3, three, three, we're actually going to get to discard one of our losers. And there we go. Now 12, three rounds of hearts, or 12 hearts have been played, so the four is the only one left. And we can get rid of either a club loser or a diamond loser. It doesn't really matter which. Give them their club. And then we can claim the rest. Only trumps left. So we actually made four spades here, but we only bid two. And one of the questions we had during the lesson was, uh, won't we be penalized for not bidding our game contract? And uh, yes, in terms of scoring, obviously you can see here we made 170, the two spades making four. That's 30 for each of our tricks, plus a 50 part score bonus, 120 plus 50, 170. If we had been in four spades making four, we're not vulnerable. You can see we're white, so not vulnerable. 
Um, we would have made 420 if we were in full space making four. So we've missed out on quite a few points here. Uh, but we got pretty lucky. Um, we were lucky that the spade split 2-2. Two, two. There's a 60% chance that they will actually split 3-1. We were also lucky that the heart split 3-3. Three, three. Again, there's a 60% chance that they will split 4-2. And that we, we can't use that fourth heart to throw out one of our minor losers. So actually, we were incredibly lucky to make four spades. Um, and if you were to bid to game with this sort of a hand, remember we've got 22 points between us. So we're three points short for game. And we don't have a great deal of shape or distribution. Both hands are relatively flat. Um, if we were to bid to game on this, these sorts of hands every time, we might make it, say, 15% of the time. So the other 85%, you're going light. So, you know, it's a percentage game. And this time we just happened to make. It was one of those 15% times that it makes. So we won't, will not be unhappy about having only bid to two spades in this example. All right, I will unseat the robots because otherwise they'll start bidding the next hand and they don't bid at all. Um, that is something as well. We are... We are doing all our bidding at all because these improvers lessons follow on directly from the New Zealand Bridge beginners lessons, which are at all teachings. So everything we do is at all. Um, so if you are playing standard American, you might just need to adjust a little bit. All right, East has got a lovely hand here. 4, 7, 9, 10, 14, 15 points. Not balanced again, we've got a five card major. So we're going to open one heart. Open our longest suit. South has got eight, 12 points and a nice club suit. So certainly enough for a club over call here. Two honours in the suit, as is required. Now West. Their partner has opened hearts. They have got five hearts of their own, so they've got a nice big heart fit here. West has got 10 points, which is good enough to it for an invite to game. Particularly with five hearts. They, West knows that they have a, at least nine card heart suit between them. Uh, so West is going to bid three hearts and invite their partner to game. Not quite good enough to bid there themselves. Um, North has only got three points. No support for their partner's suit, so nothing to say. East, with their 15 points, their partner's promised them 10 to 12. Uh, so guarantee of, of game here, so off we go. Four hearts. And that's where we play. Right, a good lead for South. We've got a broken sequence here in the club suit. King, Queen, 10. Um, our king will, if we lead the king, that will force the ace out. And then if our partner can get in again, we might well be able to make the 10, depending on where the jack is. So it's a good looking suit to lead. So we'll leave that and then put our robots back in. So this on uh, Bridge Base Online is a teaching table and a teaching table allows you to load up all sorts of hands that you want to so that's why I've been able to load up these hands provided by New Zealand Bridge. Um, And it also allows me to sit in more than one seat and all sorts of good things that we can do for teaching. Right, so we're looking at our four heart contract. Obviously our heart suit is very solid. We have the top, well, we've got 10 hearts. We're only missing the two and the six and the seven. So it's a very strong trump suit. Um, 
what we can see is that we've got some holes in other places. So in spades, we're missing the king. We might be able to, if we lead towards the queen and south has the king, we may be able to make our queen good. Um, the diamond suit is pretty average. We need south to have the ace of diamonds, then we can lead towards the king and make sure to make a diamond trick. Uh, the club suit, there's really nothing we can do about the club suit. There is some information that we can get from the bidding and from this opening lead. So uh, south, let's look at the bidding again. South overcall clubs and at the two level. So we would expect them to have close to an opening hand, certainly 10 points. Okay, let's look at our own point count. We have got four, six, nine, 10, three, five, six, 10, 11, 15. So we've got 25. We know South has at least 10 points. That means that North can have at most five points. Okay, so that's the first thing we can get from the bidding. The other thing that we know is South has probably got a pretty good club suit. They should have two honours to be overcalling. We've got the ace and the jack, so we can assume that South has the king and the queen and another at least three clubs, and they're leading the top of their little king-queen sequence, or maybe they have king-queen 10 and it's a broken sequence. So we can be quite confident that South holds the queen of clubs. Therefore, if we win this first trick with the ace, we can lead towards the jack and promote that jack of clubs. Okay. So that that's probably going to be a good play for us to take starting out. Okay, so we'll win this with the ace and then we'll get rid of the trumps. So we started with 10, we were missing 3, 2, 1, and 0. All right. Now, I would say there's a very good chance that South also holds the Ace of Diamonds. But because of how confident I am that they hold the queen of clubs. I'm going to start with the clubs. So there's the queen of clubs out. And now a jack of clubs has been promoted. And they're going to help us out by leading us a club. We can throw out a spade. By throwing out a spade, if north does happen to hold the king of spades, then we'll only lose one trick in that suit instead of two. All right, now I need to get back over to here so I can lead towards some more of my honors and dummy. So I'm going to cross to the ace of spades. And given I'm pretty confident about uh, no, I need to. I want to set up my queen of spades. So, okay. So there's the there's the king also with south. So now we've set up the queen of spades, and another spade from them. Throw out a little diamond. Now I still want to try and lead towards the king of diamonds, just in case south has the ace of diamonds. Um. So I'm going to have to actually use my trump suit to cross back over to here. And that's fine because I have no other use for my trumps. I can't rough anything. I've got two diamonds in each hand. So we'll use our trumps to cross back over and see where that ace of diamonds is. Okay, and south. It looks like south has the ace of diamonds. We can give someone a diamond trick. 
and then claim the final two. So there you can see all the hands. We actually managed to make a contract of four spades. Um, we got, again, we got pretty lucky. There was there were a lot of holes that we needed to fill. Um, so we found south with the king of spades, the ace of diamonds, and that queen of clubs that we were pretty certain of after the opening lead and the bidding. Um, four, seven, ten. So they actually had 12 points. North only had three just the Queen of Diamonds and the Jack of Spades. So they were, they were no threat to us over all of our dummy honours. So um, despite it looking a little dire from the outset, we managed to make our contract just by using our, our um, technique of leading towards our honours. So we found our way back into our own hand to lead towards our dummy honours, repeated that as many times as we need to, and we got lucky in that the missing honours were all in South's hand, which is where we would expect to find a lot of the honours, because South had shown themselves to be the bigger hand. So, all right, we'll do one more, or oh, unseat the robots. We'll do one more practice hand, and then we'll look at the final two techniques. Uh, a point about the robots, if you do want to use robots yourself on BBO, you do actually have to pay for them. So you'll have to set up a credit card with Bridgebase and um, they cost, for a basic robot, they cost a dollar for a, a weekly hire. So you pay one, one US dollar and you can use the robots as much as you like for an entire week. Um, if you want an advanced robot, which I assume are just a bit more sensible, they cost a dollar per day to hire. Right, board three, south is dealer with six points in a balance hand, they are passing, west has only got 10 points in a balance hand, passing north, four, seven, 10, 12, 15 points, a balanced hand, but too strong to open one no trump, we are playing echo, so our one no trump opener is 12 to 14, so we are going to have to bid a suit and then with the intention of rebidding one no trump. So our longer suit is clubs, that's what we'll start with. We should probably have alerted our clubs as well. Um, so ordinarily you would write your explanation in the box here before you bid, but because I've forgotten to, you can actually click on your bid and then, I don't know why the please explain box is so funny looking, you can explain Four plus. My one club bid, bid means I have four plus clubs. Uh, so you can explain after the fact, but certainly it's better to do it beforehand because your opponent might bid before you get your explanation in otherwise. All right, East has got two, three, five, nine, ten points. No suit to overcall and not quite strong enough for a takeout double. Plus they don't have cards and diamonds, so just going to pass. Now South can look at their hand. Since their partner has opened, they only need six points to respond, which is exactly what they have. We don't have a fit with our partner. They, they may only have four clubs, so we're going to bid our own diamond suit. It's only promising six plus points. Uh, we still can't bid. And now North is going to do their one no trump rebid. And let's do a little explanation. Whoops, 145. 15 to 17 for our one no trump rebid. And on that note, South South's options are either to pass the one no trump or they could rebid their diamonds if they wanted to. Uh, we certainly don't have enough for game here. We have at most 23 points if our partner has 17. Um, I, one no trump could be a perfectly fine place to play. Or we could go back to two diamonds, but there's no guarantee of a diamond fit and it's a major and you're going to the two levels. So in my opinion, passing and playing a one no trump is, uh, 
the superior option. So pass one no trump is where we will play. So East defending a no trump contract is going to look to their long suits immediately. Um, in this case, they've got two four card majors, and the opposition haven't bid any majors. And normally, the opposition would try and bid their majors if they had had some. So certainly a good place to start. And we've got a nice sequence in spades here. So I'm going to be leading the queen of spades. And then let the robots take over. My robots are just basic robots. So they may do some silly things on defense. They have been known to. A little quirk of BBO that I have to do this twice. All right, there we go. All hidden away now. So we are in one no trump. Uh, it looks like we've got. Certainly, we've got the Ace King of Spades and the Ace King of Diamonds are guaranteed. Um, and then we've got some problems. So, oh, this um, this one actually touches on one of the techniques that we haven't discussed yet. So, I am going to go back to the PowerPoint, and we will talk about the next te two techniques before we talk about how we play this hand. So, back to here, and we we are talking about the third technique now, which is finessing. So, looking at this suit, we need we want to win two tricks in this suit, and we're missing the king of the suit. So. What we can do is try and finesse the king. So it's pretty similar to leading towards our honours in that we are going to start in south hand and lead, it, lead towards the ace queen. And we're going to hope that the king is with west, with the second player. So if the second player plays low, which they should even if they hold the king, we are going to play the queen. And that will win as long as West has the king. If East has the king and we play the queen, it's going to lose. Um, but it was always going to lose unless East held a singleton king, which is highly unlikely when we only have five cards in the suit. So it doesn't hurt to try this. You've got a 50% chance of success. And if it doesn't work, you were just about guaranteed to lose to the king of the suit anyway. So you haven't lost anything by trying. It's worth a shot. Now, if you play towards the queen and West puts up the king, obviously you're going to play the ace. But if they have any number of cards below the king, they shouldn't be playing the king. They're just making life really easy for you. So we lead a small card towards the ace queen. We hope that the second player West has the king. And if they play small, we're going to play the queen. All right. This time we need four tricks from this suit, which we can again make if West holds the king of the suit. This time we're going to play it a little bit differently, though. Instead of playing a small card towards the 10, remember that the queen, jack, 10, 9 are all equivalent. Instead of playing the 4 to the 10, we are going to run the queen. So we're going to play the queen. If West puts the king on, then we'll play the ace, and now our jack-10-9 are all good, and we're guaranteed four tricks in that suit. Uh, if West doesn't play the king, we're just going to duck. We're going to play a small card out of this hand and hope that the king wasn't sitting over here. If it was, again, there's nothing we can do about it. And we were always going to lose to the king. So it's worth a try. 
Now the advantage to playing the queen and running that card instead of playing a small one is that if it works, we're already in this hand and we can do it again. We can play the jack and duck the jack. So that is the advantage to running a high card instead of playing a small one because otherwise we play the four to the ten if the finesse works we have to find a way back to our hand uh, when it really wasn't ne necessary to ever leave this hand so play the queen first if you win the trick repeat the finesse with the jack so we stay in this hand for as long as possible okay with this one we need to win two tricks we're missing the king and the queen so we can run this finesse twice what we call a double finesse, because we're finessing two cards. And as long as East doesn't hold both the king and the queen, we will make two tricks. We will make one of these this jack-10 combination. Um, if, if West has both the honours, the king and the queen, they should be inserting one of them to force out the ace and make their other card good. Uh, otherwise, you're actually going to let the, the declarer make three tricks. So declarer plays small towards the jack, and this person holds king, queen, small, and they play small. Declarer is going to play the jack and guarantee themselves a win with that jack straight away. And then they can repeat the finesse again. So, we, we, again, we're going to need a side entry to get back into this hand so we can run this finesse twice. Um, but you can see if we just play the ace here, we're going to straight away set up the king and the queen for the opposition, unless one of them started with double king, king, queen. So, it's a much better play to take this double finesse. But we do need to do it twice. And... There's a very good chance that the first time around it will fail, but you're hoping that the second time around um, West has one of the honours. Need a small card towards the 10. When the opportunity arises, play another small card towards the jack. So repeat the finesse twice. There's a pretty good chance that it will work the second time around. There's a very good chance it won't work the first time around. Okay, again, we need two tricks with this suit. Um, now we can't, I should go back a bit. This one here, when we, were, when we were running the queen, the only reason we do that is because we have cards directly below the queen. So the queen is backed up by the jack-10-9. If it was just queen-jack, we might not want to do it anymore. If it was just queen with nothing below it, we definitely don't want to do it because they're just going to put the king on the queen and they've promoted their jack if they're holding the jack. So going back to this one here, we don't want to run the queen of the suit because I'll just put the king on it and now they've promoted their jack 10-9. Okay, so instead we're going to play the ace of the suit just in case someone happened to have a singleton king. And then we're going back to our principle of leading towards honours. So we're going to lead towards the queen of the suit and hope that West holds the king. Play the ace first in case of a singleton king and then lead a small card towards the queen. And we're finessing the king, hoping that it's with West. All right, our final technique is about establishing a long suit. So this is usually going to be, in, in no trumps, it'll be a long suit that you're looking to try and make some tricks in once you run the opposition out of, of cards. Or it could be a side suit in a trump contract. So maybe you have your, ten, your eight card trump suit and then you've got a second suit that is eight cards long that you're going to look to establish to make some tricks there and give you some discards on the extra length so some examples here we've got a lovely six card suit 
in the south's hand. Um, once we force out the ace, then hopefully the defender's cards will split 3-2 and we'll be able to make five tricks in this long suit. And we may have four discards once we've set the suit up. So remembering to play our honours out of the short hand, we would play the jack of the suit first and then just keep going until we set the suit up. Lose to the ace to establish the suit by playing the jack first. Unblock the suit. Uh, and make sure to count your opponent's cards as they are played. So normally when you're starting out, you keep track of the trump suit. You know how many cards have gone. Um, but often there is a side suit that you also need to keep track of. And, and usually you will have drawn trumps by the time it comes to setting up that side suit. So you're not having to hold too many pieces of information. You already know all the trumps are gone. So uh, it is important that you know the state of the suit. Um, and when you do your planning, if this is if this is a side suit, when you do your planning, you should look at that and go, OK, that suit is going to get me some tricks. I need to keep an eye on it just in case the opposition throw out cards in this suit while you're drawing trumps, for example. So it might be that a card already goes out on the third round of trumps is quite common. So you've got to keep an eye on that or you might um, might lose track of the suit. Right, this time we've got a seven card suit uh, and we've got the top three honours. So if the opposition cards split 3-3, three, three, we can take out all of their cards with our three honours and we will have set the suit up. We'll still have two more tricks, two more winners in that suit. Um, given that they're more likely to split 4-2, split we might have to give them a card in the suit, or maybe we can rough a card if it's a suit contract. But we'll still have set up a, a fifth. The fifth trick is a, a long suit trick. And again, we remember we want to play the king first. Play across to the king and then back to the ace-queen. Otherwise, you're going to block the suit. Play the king first, then back to the ace, and we hope that the suit splits evenly. If it does split 4-2, we, we can still make a fifth trick in the suit, potentially. If that works in with our plan. Okay, here we've got a long suit, a five, an eight-card suit, but we've only got the ace-king. So we're, going, we're definitely going to lose to something in the suit. The hope is that the opposition cards split 3-2, and they are more likely than not to split 3-2. Uh, so we, we can take the ace-king and we can give them a, a trick in the suit. Or if communication is a problem, maybe we'll give them a trick early. So you might actually give them the first trick that you play in this suit. And then take the ace and then you can cross... Uh, take the king, sorry. And then you can cross back to the ace and hopefully the suit is set up at that point. Five cards missing, including the Queen Jack 10 9. We have to lose at least one trick. Play the King first. So, yeah, if you're going to give them a trick early, regardless, you, you need to take the King the king first when you start playing on the honours. All right, so that's the four techniques covered, and these are the techniques that we're going to utilise in the next two weeks when we talk about uh, Declare a Play. We continue to talk about declare a play and how you plan the play of the hand when dummy goes down in both no trump and suit contracts. But these four techniques are crucial to our planning when we're looking at how we can make extra tricks in different places. So again, if you have any questions, those are my contact details, please feel free to ask. Obviously, this being a video, you can't ask during the lesson like you could last week. Um, and we'll go back over a few more example hands now before we sign off. So, back to BBO. Right. You will recall that we had bid to one no trump. 
a reminder about the bidding. North has 15 points, so they did their one no trump rebid, promising 15 to 17. Partner only has six points, so we, they stopped at one no trump, there being no hope for game. So now we look at our one no trump contract. We can see we've definitely got the ace king of spades, the ace king of diamonds. That's only four tricks. We've got to find three more tricks somewhere. Um, and we're going to use our technique of setting up a long suit. You can see we've got a diamond fit. We've actually got eight cards and diamonds between us. And we can set up probably just two more diamond tricks. We're, we are certain to lose. We're missing the queen jack 10 of diamonds. So we are certain to lose one diamond trick. Uh, which means that we can set up an extra two diamond tricks. So that takes us to six. So we're still one light, uh, one short. Um, so we may have to look to the king of hearts. If we can lead towards the king of hearts and west has the ace, then we can make the king of hearts and that will be our seventh trick. Uh, the club suit has some promise, except if East and West each hold a club honour, then they're going to squash our two club honours and potentially set up their 10-9. So I would rather leave the club suit alone and let the opposition lead, lead out the club suit for me. That would be my preference. Um, because I can then duck and see what they do. But for now, I'm going to win at the spade lead. Now, I want to set my diamonds up. I am worried about, I've got, I don't have entries back to South's hand. So I'm actually going to give the opposition a diamond early. I'll take the first diamond trick. Then I'm going to give them the next diamond trick. So I've still got a diamond in my hand that I can lead across to the ace with. So if I was to win with the ace now, say I play the five of diamonds across to the ace, then I've still got to play one more round of diamonds to get the last diamond out, assuming they split three, two. Um, and my last round of diamonds is going to run me out of diamonds over here. Now I've got no way to get back to the diamonds I would have set up in South's hand. So I'm just going to play small here and let them win this trick. Okay, and it would be nice if they led a club for me, but they were not obliging. So now there's only one diamond out. I've still got a diamond here that I can get back across to my hand with. So I can take my diamond tricks. I don't want that spade, it's useless to me. Uh, probably doesn't matter too much what I throw away. Ten of hearts is interesting. It's quite a high heart. So now the next part of my plan for my seventh trick was to lead towards the hearts. And I need to do that now while I'm in this hand. Because I probably aren't going to get back to dummy. So we're hoping that West has the Ace of Hearts. There it is. So we've now set up the, the our King of Hearts. Uh, they're going to take some club tricks. I... I'm going to get rid of Hearts. I'm going to switch to clubs. No, they're going to give me my... So there, I've made my contract, and now I'll see if there's any hope for me in clubs. Might be able to pick up a club trick on the end. No. Queen of Hearts, and probably the King of Clubs, or a Spade even. But we made our contract. We made our one no trump, and we did that by setting up a long suit and leading towards our honour, our King, on, King of Heart honour. So we've actually used two of our techniques in making that contract. Look to the robots. And 
on to board four. West is dealer and they have two, five, nine points in flat pass four, six, ten, thirteen, fourteen. All right. North has got a hand and their long suit is hearts. So they're going to open one heart. East has only got six points. They've got a spade suit, but only one honor. So not good enough for an overcall pass. Four, seven, eight, nine, eleven points. Not bad. We don't have a heart fit at this point. Our partner's only promised us four because we're playing echo. So we're going to show them our spades. Our long suit is spades. Nine points here. Not no, nothing to overcall with. Now North can show their second suit, which at the same time promises five hearts because they started high and gone low. Can they, they they've got 14 points, so not strong enough for a reverse bid, not strong enough to break the barrier. So they're just going to bid two diamonds, which will limit their hand to being 12 to 15 points and promise five hearts and four diamonds. Still nothing to say there. Right, so now South now knows that their partner holds not just four hearts, but five hearts, and they have a heart fit. Um, and so they can confirm that heart fit and it's just a matter of what level do we do that at. So we have four, seven, eight, nine, eleven points. So we are too strong to just be bidding two hearts. That would be a minimum hand of six to nine points. Um, but we are not strong enough to go straight to game. We would need 13 points to bid straight to game, given our partners a minimum opening hand. They're 12 to 15. So if they only have 12, we need 13. We don't have 13. But... If our partner has 14 or 15, with our 11, that's enough for game. So we just don't know. So we're going to invite them three hearts. Partner has 4, 6, 10, 13, 14. So they are at the upper end of their, their 12 to 15 range, plus they have a singleton in spades. So that is easily good enough for four hearts. And that's where we'll play. Right, uh, lead, there's not much point east leading their spades because south has bid them. It doesn't look particularly promising. So our little club sequence is a worthwhile lead. Plus it's the only suit that the opposition haven't bid. So we'll lead the king of clubs and put the robots back in. So when we ran the lesson, we got through five of these hands, I think, four or five, um, and there's actually eight to run through, so we didn't quite get through all of them. So some of you might actually be interested in checking this video out just to see the extra hands that we didn't get through. Okay, so we're playing in four hearts. Um, as you can see, that it looks like the opposition have got off to a pretty good lead. We are missing the ace, king, queen of clubs, and that is what the opposition have led. So very likely they can take three clubs straight away, and we're already on the precipice of going down in this contract. Um, so clubs were in trouble. Diamonds, solid as. We've got we got the top four diamonds. Spades is also very good. Um, we've got a singleton spade over here, so these two little spades are we're, we're going to be able to rough, no worries. Hearts, we are missing, we're actually missing the king of hearts. So we're missing the king of the trump suit. But we have queen jack 10. So we, we've got a very good finessing opportunity here. If we can get into South's hand and just run the jack and hope that West has the king. So that is the plan for this hand. We're probably just going to lose three clubs here. 
and then we need to find a way into South's hand so we can run the heart finesse. And let's just take our medicine and clubs. And see what they continue with a spade. So we shall win the spade. And now straight away we're going to turn to trumps. We're going to run that jack of hearts. West has gone low. So we're going to low, go low as well and hope that West has the king. And they have ducked my jack of hearts. Hooray. So very likely West has the king of hearts. We started, we were missing five hearts. We're missing three now. So we'll run 10 now. Two, one. Okay. Let's get that king of hearts out. There it is, as expected. And cross to the queen of diamonds. And now everything in my hand is good. Two more hearts and the top three diamonds. And we've still got the king of spades sitting over there doing nothing. So we can claim the rest. And there we go. So you'll see that on that hand it was crucial that we took the heart finesse. That was the only way that we could make our contract. Um, if East had held the king of hearts, then we were going light. And there was absolutely nothing we could do about it unless it was a singleton king of hearts. Um, which would have been very unfortunate. You certainly can't plan your play for the very small chance that East would hold the King of Hearts. Um, so we had to take the finesse to try and make our contract, and this time we were lucky in that the finesse worked. Okay. Unseat these guys. Unfortunately, the robots can't be trusted to bid because they play standard American. And we don't want to play standard American. Okay. On to board five. North is dealer. Three, six, eight, eleven points, and a flat hand, certainly not good enough to open. Eight and a flat hand, also not good enough to open. Four, six, ten, fourteen points. Also a flat hand, so 12 to 14 balance, we're opening one no trump. Make sure we alert that for our opponents. Three, five, six, seven points and a flat hand. Certainly no bid there. Uh, three, six, eight, 11 points. No five card suit. So that is good enough for an invite to gain. 11 yeah we don't have 13 that we need to invite our partner but if they have the top of their range then game could be on so we can't go straight to game but we can invite 4 6 10 14 so our partner has asked us if we're top or bottom of our range we are top so we will accept their invite and play in three no trump okay the lead, uh, we've got a couple of sequences here to choose from, Queen of the Diamond Suit or the Spade Suit. Uh, the Diamond Suit is slightly stronger in that you've got Queen Jack 10, but the Diamond Suit is also shorter. And the fact that they haven't talked about the mages at all I would be inclined to look towards a major. So I am going to open the uh, lead of the Jack of Spades. Right, hide these guys away. Oh, I haven't even put robots back in. Who's to clear us out? Robot. Right, so we're in three no trumps. Spades is not a problem for us. We've got the top three there. We've also got the top three hearts. So 
six tricks guaranteed there with no hope of any extras. Um, we've, we've got a club fit here, but the club suit is very weak. So we're missing five clubs and they are the Ace, King, Queen, Jack, Ten. So we're missing the top five clubs. In diamonds we have the Ace, King and not really any hope for a third trick in that suit. So we've got three spades, three hearts and two diamonds. That's eight. We're missing a trick. And the only suit it can come from is clubs. This absolutely dismal club suit. So it is more likely than not that the opponent's club split 3-2. And if they do, we can actually make our fourth card in clubs. So we're just going to have to keep plugging away at clubs. Uh, and just let them lead whatever. We're, we don't, we're not in any real danger in any of the suits, so we can take the time to set the club suit up, even though we have to lose three tricks in clubs. Um, even if they set about attacking the diamond suit, which is our weakest suit, apart from clubs, they, it's very unlikely that they can get enough tricks and diamonds to take us light. One of them would probably have to hold oh, six diamonds or something, given that we have the top two. So, And the fact is, it is our only hope for this contract, is to set up these clubs, so we've just got to do it. So we were missing five, so that's four, three. So the, this is where the robots are perhaps not the greatest of defenders. Um, they're actually doing my job for me now. They're leading out the clubs. So there's only one left now. And there it is. So pretty, pretty poor defense on their part. They've just set up my club suit for me. So I'll take my winning club. And play out all my other winners. King of Hearts. Ace of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. If I got really lucky, they might have thrown out all their diamonds and I'll win a diamond on the end, but probably unlikely. Nope. No, nope, they both kept diamonds. So we managed to make a contract by setting up a really terrible long suit for a fourth trick. So that's a really rare example of how setting up a, a long suit can help you. Of course, if the opponent's clubs had split 4-1, it would never have worked. But in that case, we have no hope of making a contract. So we had to try it. And as I have said, the when you're missing five cards, they are more, much more likely to split 3-2. So there's a good chance that it's going to succeed. Okay. Sit. Right. Board six. So East has got 15 points. Not quite a balanced hand because they've got two doubletons here. So they're going to open one diamond. South, two, five, seven, eight in a flat hand. Nothing to interfere with. So 10 points here with West and their partners open one diamond. We don't have a diamond fit, and even if we did, we would want to tell our partner about our majors first anyway. So we start with our longer suit, which is hearts, one heart. Remember, just because we have 10 points, we don't bid to the two level. You need 10 points to show a new suit at the two level as responder, but that doesn't mean you bid there unnecessarily. It's just taking up bidding space when you haven't even found a fit. Right, North has got only seven points, five card club suit, but 
they certainly can't overcall at the two level and they don't have any honors in the suit so nothing to bid right back to east they are not interested in their partner's hearts um, but they do have a four card spade suit to tell their partner about so they're going to bid that still no bid for south all right so west like spades that's their other suit so they're going to confirm the fit in spades uh, four seven nine so they're they're 10 points they're in that 10 to 12 range so they're just partner has still shown a minimum hand a minimum opening hand again they haven't broken the barrier of two diamonds so the one spade is not a reverse but 12 to 15 points so over here with 10 points we might have game we might not we don't know so we're just going to invite them three spades here we've got 15 points so they're top of their range top of their 12 to 15 range so it's an easy yes partner i accept your invite four spades that's where we will play a uh, lovely club sequence here and again it's the only suit the opposition haven't bid so we'll go with the king of clubs top of our sequence and then let the robots take over Okay, so four spades. Our trump suit is a little bit holy. We're missing the king and the queen of spades. Um, but this is a great opportunity for us to do the double finesse of the king and the queen, hoping that the opposition have one each. Um, in the heart suit, we're missing the ace, but otherwise it's a pretty good suit particularly if they, the opponent's card split three all. We can force out the ace, remembering to unblock the suit by playing the jack first, and then hopefully set up uh, some long suit tricks over here. Clubs, we, we have a club loser, and there's really nothing we can do about that. Although there might be, looking ahead to diamonds. Um, so we are going to lose a club at this point. Our diamond suit is really quite lovely. We've got ace, king, queen, jack. So unless the opponent's diamond split 5-1, we should be able to make our fifth diamond as well. So... There is a question as to whether we should draw Trump straight away. Let's win this one with the ace. Now, we have a club loser. We can see that. We might be able to get rid of the club loser on the diamonds. We play across to the jack, black back across to the ace, and then throw out the eight of clubs on the king of diamonds. Now, we're not going to be able to do this if we start drawing trumps straight away because our plan for the trumps is to run the double finesse and we're very likely to lose the first trump trick so let's say we play we've actually got lovely spades here jack 10 9 8 7 so we can afford to actually we can afford to play the seven and duck it with the two but there's a very good chance that north will win that with one of the spade honors and then come back with clubs so what we have is an opportunity to use the diamonds to get rid of the club loser before we draw trumps we have to do it before we draw trumps the risk is that the diamonds we've got seven the opposition has six the risk is the diamonds are more likely than not to split four two in which case someone is going to rough the third round of diamonds. But if they do, we're basically just swapping a club loser for a rough loser. So 
we haven't actually lost anything by attempting it because if the diamonds do split three all, we're going to have saved the club loser. Now back to the ace. So far, so good. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, so we don't know whether south has another diamond or whether north has the last one, but it doesn't matter. We're going to throw out our club and now we got rid of that club loser. The diamonds have behaved as well, so we've, we've been really lucky. Now we can look to the trump suit. So we've, we've dealt with the club issue, now we can look at the trump suit. And our plan was to run our spades from this hand, and we can start as low as a 7, because the 7, 8, 9, 10 jack are all equivalent. Okay, we haven't seen an honor come from south, so we're not going to put our ace up. We're going to play the 2. Okay, there's the king. Now they're going for the club. It's too late. We can rough. Okay, now our problem is we want to get back into East's hand to do that finesse again. And we have limited means of doing so. But we will try. Jack. Okay. So it looks like North probably has the ace of hearts. So we have gotten we've gotten lucky here. It's this time there's no point in us running the jack because the ten is equivalent anyway. There's nothing below it. So we can just play small to the 10. We're hoping south holds the other spade on her. Look at that, they do. So we started with eight spades. We played two full rounds. So that was, it depletes our opponents to one spade and it is the king of spades, king, queen, one of the honor, spade honors and south holds it. It's the queen, I think. So we can now draw that. Spade honor and carry on with the hearts. There's the ace where we thought it was. Rough that club and our last two diamonds are good. Remember the opposition had no diamonds left. We drew them out in those first three rounds. Diamond, diamond and we're making five. So we actually picked up an extra trick there by our sneaky little diamond play. Um, and, the, and the double finesse for the spades that we ran. So we only lost two spades where we would have... Sorry, we only lost one spade where we, we would have lost two spades if we had just played out the ace straight away. We play the ace of spades. That knocks out the six and the three. Now the opposition can take their king and their queen. So we held the opposition to just one spade. One spade trick they took off us, and we managed to avoid losing a club by our clever little diamond play. So those things actually allowed us to make five tricks. If we hadn't have attempted those two plays, we would have gone one light in this contract. So it's certainly worthwhile. Okay, and we'll reseat our... And on we go to board seven. South is declarer. They have got three, five, six, ten, thirteen, sixteen points. Sixteen points and a very balanced hand. Too strong to open one no trump. So we're going to do a no trump rebid if we get the opportunity. For now, we're going to open our longer suit, which is hearts. Board seven, nine, ten points for West. No suit to overcall with. Not strong enough for a takeout double. They've only got 10 points. Just pass. North has got 4, 8, 10 points. Uh, no heart fit at this stage. So we're going to bid our lowest available four card of our two four card suits. That is the one that keeps the bidding the lowest. And that will be one spade. One heart, one spade. 
there's only four points here, nothing to say. So our partner's promised us four spades. We don't have a spade fit as yet, so we're going to carry on with our no trump rebid. And we'll let our opposition know um, what that, the range of that is. One, one thing that's worth mentioning is that although I'm alerting these no trump rebids on bridge base, you don't alert your no trump rebids when you're playing face to face bridge. On, on bridge base, we do a lot more alerting than we would normally because it saves people having to type to ask questions and things. Um, so it's just a lot easier if you give that information out up front, especially because on bridge base, your partner can't see when you've alerted your bids. So you're not giving any information to your partner that they may have, you know, in theory, you should both be on the same page, but you aren't always. Um, so by by self alerting on bridge base, you're not giving your partner any information at all. They can't see your alerts. So, but don't alert your no trump rebids when you're playing face to face at the club. Right. So partner has a balance fifteen to seventeen points. So they must only have four hearts now. We know that we don't. We definitely don't have a heart fit. Um, and we definitely don't have a spade fit because they didn't confirm that they instead bid one no trump. So partners 15 with our 10 makes 25. That's enough for game. We know we don't have a fit in either major. So we can go through no trump. And the lead. Well, the spades are pretty lovely. But North has bid them, so... Do you do you bother? But it really is too good to turn down. I mean, even though it's North suit, once you force the ace out, you're guaranteed three tricks and spades, and that is pretty hard to turn down. So I think you've got to lead the king of spades, even though it's the opposition suit. All right, hide the defenders away again. And all right, so we're playing in three no trump. An interesting lead from West. They have quite happily bid the suit that uh, led the suit that we bid. We do have one trick in spades, uh, but that's probably going to be about it. Especially with West leading them, you would expect West to have at least four, maybe five cards in the suit. And Hearts, we have got a pretty solid holding once we get the ace out, so we want to make sure we get into dummy to lead towards our heart honours there. We might need to do that multiple times, we can use the diamonds as entries. We've got a couple of club tricks there, but nothing much after that. And three diamond tricks, and if the suit splits 3-3, three, three, we can make a trick on the end in the diamond, so we'll see how we go. Now, if West is leading spades, we're assuming that they have at least four. Maybe five, but certainly four. I would rather that East doesn't have the opportunity to lead a spade back to their partner. And we're going to talk more about this in next week's lesson. But um, if West, let's assume that West holds four spades, we've got seven between us. That means that East has two. Okay. What I want to try and do is run east out of spades so that they can't lead them back to west where we're assuming the length and the strength in spades is. Because I know I know I have to lead to the ace of hearts. I lose to the ace of hearts. I'm hoping that east holds the ace of hearts and when they win, I don't want them leading a spade back to their partner. 
So I'm actually going to let them let these guys have this first spade trick with the goal of running east out of spades. I'm going to win this one, however, because I'm pretty sure that east is already out of spades, or if they're not, this will be their last one, because I'm putting west on four spades. Okay, so there we go. East had two spades, and if my assumptions are correct, west has two more, and it's the jack ten of spades. So I'm now where I want to be to lead towards my heart honours, and I'm hoping East has the, the ace for more reason than one. Okay, not forthcoming. Okay, well that didn't work. But we had to try it. And now West is going to take their two spade tricks. East is out, so that, that plan at least sort of worked. Um, I can throw out the small club. It's of no use to me. And at least West is out of spades. So the opposition have actually taken four tricks now. So we we cannot let them have any more tricks. And we've still got to find eight more. We've got two more hearts, two clubs, there's four, five, six, seven in diamonds. So we need to either make a long trick in diamonds or a long trick in hearts. So let's see how we get on. We'll win this club. We're going to leave our king of clubs there. Hopefully we can make a... So we've already played one round of hearts. We started with seven hearts. The opposition started with six. They've played two, so they're down to four. Uh, hopefully. Three, two... Uh, nope, that's not going to work. One, so East stole, still holds a heart. So we've got to leave. We can't win with our last heart. But West has thrown out a diamond. So we started with seven diamonds. The opposition's with six. He's thrown one out. So they're now down to five. So there's a glimmer of hope there. We're going to unblock the suit. We start with the king of diamonds. Four, three, two, one. So the Queen of Diamonds is going to draw out the last diamond. Oh, it was already gone. Okay, I've, I've missed a diamond there. Um, East may have thrown out a diamond on the on the spades that I failed to see. So our last diamond is obviously a winner. We can throw out the little heart on that and then cross back to the king of clubs so we managed to make our contract uh despite our the ace of hearts not being where we wanted it so some of our plans didn't quite work out you can see here the diamonds that actually split three three so we were always going to make our fourth diamond the heart split four two so we were never going to make our fourth heart given that the ace was here so All's well that ends well. Um, we can, can we? No, I was hoping that we could look back and um, see where the diamond was that I missed. Oh, here we go, my table. Uh, so this here is basically a history of the hands that we've played so far. I'll not make that any bigger. So here you can actually look back and you can see obviously what the bidding is here, but you can see what all the tricks were that were played using this next trick button. Um, and up here, this here, show double dummy. Double dummy is uh, basically what you could have made with perfect play. With the perfect line of play and the optimal line of defense, this is what you could have made. So show double dummy. And it's, it's it tells you what, the, what contract will make for every single card that West could possibly lead. So if they lead any spade, diamond, or club, we will make 
exactly our contract. The equal sign means you'll make the contract exactly. So we'll make three no trump. If they lead a heart, then we will make an extra trick, an over trick. Um, so that's that's always something that's quite interesting. So we should have made on a spade lead, which is what they led. We should have made exactly our contract, which is what we did. So we we made the best possible result uh, given the defence. Um, so we'll hide that. But what we can do here is we can step through all the tricks and we can see exactly when that diamond was discarded that I failed to notice. So you remember we ducked that first spade trick. We win the second one now that we're pretty sure East is out of spades. Uh, we start on our hearts, we lost to the ace, and now the spades carry on. This is where I think a diamond was discarded. Spade. So first he discarded a club, and there it is, there's the diamond. So I didn't notice that diamond discard. So it's just something that's interesting to, to see. Okay, unseat the robots. It's a Bridge base is a very valuable tool for all sorts of different things. And there's a, a lot that you can get from it that people have no no idea about. Um, so it'd be quite neat for us to do some tutorials actually on all the different things you can do with bridge base sometime. Oh, I don't need to know, I'll do that now. That's fine. Okay, on to our final hand, board eight. West is dealer. They have got 4, 7, 9, 13 points and a balance hand because we're playing Echo 12 to 14. And you should be alerting your 1 no trump opening bids not by circling them, but just by saying when your partner opens 1 no trump, you should tell the opposition what the point range is 12 to 14. 5 points. Five card heart suit here for north, but five points is certainly not enough to overcall at the two level. East has got three, seven, ten, thirteen, fifteen points. Okay, so uh, at this point, it depends whether you are playing stamen or not. Um, if you are playing stamen, and we are going to teach stamen in a coming lesson. To those that don't know it, I, I suspect that the majority of you are already playing Stamen, and it's only this year's the new players from this year's class that aren't. So I will I will tell you what you would do if you weren't playing Stamen. So three, seven, ten, thirteen, fifteen points. Your partner's twelve to fourteen. Obviously, you have easily enough for game. You've got twenty-seven points at least between you. So that is. More than enough to be in game. Uh, you don't have a five card suit that you can bid, so you would just bid straight to three no trump if you're not playing stamen. Now, if you are playing stamen, you have the ability to try and find a spade fit in case your partner has four spades. So we're going to bid two clubs, which is stamen, and we're looking for a fit in spades. Remember that you need to have at least 11 points to use stamen opposite a weak no trump, 12 to 14 no trump because you need to be able to tolerate two no trump, which you need about 23 points for. So your partner's 12 and your 11 is enough to stamen. With 15, obviously, it's no brainer. Two clubs, stamen, seven points here, nothing to say. Uh, West, their partner has been two, two clubs asking if they have a four card major. And they do not, so they bid two diamonds, which denies a four card major. Pass. So now East, knowing there's no major fit, is going to bid three no trump. So regardless of whether we're playing stamen or not, we end up in exactly the same spot. Uh, North has got a lovely heart sequence here, and we know that certainly dealer doesn't have any majors. We know that East has a four card major. We don't know which one, but we're gonna leave the top of our lovely sequence and then let the robots back in. So we are, we're going to cover stamen and transfers in a future lesson, because um, it kind of sits in between the improvers material and the 
intermediate material. So, okay. And hide them away. All right, so we're in three no trumps. We've certainly got two spades, two hearts, three diamonds, two, four, seven. So we need to find two more tricks. Um, there's no hope for anything further in hearts, especially with North leading hearts. I suspect they have some length. Spades don't look particularly enticing either. Clubs. If South holds the ace of clubs, we should be able to make two more tricks in clubs by, by starting in dummy and leading towards our honours, leading towards our club honours. So that's a pretty good place to start. The other place we can look is if the diamonds split 3-3, three, three, then we can make a fourth diamond trick. But remember, they're not that likely to split 3-3. Three, three. So... We have a 50% chance of the Ace of Clubs being where we need it to be. We only have a 35% chance or something of the diamond splitting evenly. So the club, playing on the clubs is a superior play. And if it doesn't work, we can always try the diamonds after and hope that one of them works. So, right. The other thing to consider is that... Uh, if the diamonds do split 3-3, three, three, that only gets us one extra trick. And we need two extra tricks, so we have to do this club play anyway. If the club play doesn't work, we're going to need both to work. So let's win this trick and start with our brilliant club plan. There it is. Club, Ace of clubs exactly where we need it. So he'll come back with a heart, most likely. There we go. And... We can play out our tricks now. We know that our two clubs are good. All right, that's eight clubs. 19, 11, there's only two clubs left out. So if they both fall now, no, not gonna happen. So South held extra clubs. So we, we do still have a chance of picking up an extra trick in diamonds if they split evenly. So we start by playing the honours out of the small, the short suit. Play towards the king, queen. Five, four, three, two, one. No. Okay. So we've made our contract, and the likelihood of us winning any of these final tricks is very slim. Here's the diamond. There's the club we knew we were going to lose, and a spade. But we made our contract by leading towards our club honours, using our, using our technique there, remembering that if uh, South had not put their ace up straight away, we would have needed to play that, do that twice, get back into dummy and lead towards the club honours again. So... So that's it for our nine boards, uh, sorry, our eight boards for this first of our online improvers lessons. Uh, hopefully COVID level 2.5 or whatever they're calling it finds you well. Um, the link to this video is going to be sent out with the email about tonight's lesson details. So hopefully we'll see you all later on. And uh, if you have any questions about this lesson you can raise them then thanks heaps for tuning in and see you later on